Yeah, we're just hanging out with uh, our buddy Feng, who we've had to move as a result of uh, the changes we've made to God Wars Dungeon 2. Um, so we'll show you a little bit of what's behind him in a minute. He's got a cool new animation and stuff like that. But first off, we're going to show you maybe one of the most hype things that you guys have been waiting for, which is the weapons. So which one should we start with? Let's start with the Let's Star from the Sliske. Staff, yeah. So Star from Sliske, obviously uh, you guys want to know a few details about, um, <laughs> about the weapons. So <laughs> you've just seen my username. <laughs> um, so <laughs> yeah, basically they are tier 92 weapons, which is uh, the important thing. Um, this one, obviously, Star of Sisuke, it's pretty cool. And um, they do have spec attacks. Carl, do you want to take us through what the spec attack is for Sisuke? Um So much like the uh, Araktor uh, weapons, they'll summon something for you, but as opposed to taking damage, it will spawn a little white, not a little white, a big white, and then he will be able to deal damage alongside you as, in a sense, a third familiar if you have a Steel Titan up. No, a second, third familiar if you have a Steel Titan out and you're using Dreadnips. Nice. Max Deeps. Okay. So uh, moving on from the uh, Sliske stuff is the Seren Godbow, which I think you'll agree is pretty cool. Do you want to go through the, uh, the spec attack for that one? So this one, similar to Bombardment, you fire in the air and it, uh, arrows fly up and then crystal rain comes down and depending on where it lands, I believe, uh, it does damage based on that. So eloquently put. And I also believe um, if the NPC is a 5x5, five five, so you, a player is a 1x1, one one, if a player, uh, NPC is a 5x5, five five, it will hit more times than a player. So I think that's the case. Yeah, so one of the cool things about this is that it's got this sort of arm guard, which covers, goes all the way up your arm. Um, it's a pretty it big a bow. bow. It's not, it's not a, shield, a bow. shield bow. You have your awesome, awesome <coughs> strike one bow for that. Okay, so... The final one, the one you've all been waiting for, the Zaros God Sword. Ooh. Ooh. It's got a black hole at the centre of it. Um, it's got a big Zaros symbol on the uh, on the hilt. And this one also has a pretty cool special attack. So, you want to take us through that one? Okay. So, it's like a melee sunshine. So, I think you might be able to do it. We can show it off if you want. So, it's like a melee sunshine. It will put a effect on the floor. So it'll put a black hole on the floor. The closer, if you're standing in it, much like Sunshine, you'll be doing more damage. So with Berserk, if you use Berserk, you take double damage, but you have the mobility to move around to different targets. With this, if you know the bosses, whatever you're fighting is gonna be next to you continuously, it might be beneficial for you to use this. Did I explain that well enough? I think I nailed it. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty dope. Um, anything else we wanna do? Oh, okay, so we also have, you might notice that we've We've gone through uh, Sliske, we've gone through Saren, and we've gone through Zaros. That is only three of the four factions in uh, God Wars 2. So the final thing is obviously Zamorak, and Zamorak actually has an ability um, codex as his reward. So uh, it's here in the Constitution tab. It's called Reprisal. So basically, uh, when you use Reprisal, it's a threshold ability. Um, any damage you take for the next six seconds will be stored. When this ends, you will deal 100% of the damage taken back at your target, up to 10,000 damage. In PvP, there are diminishing returns. Um, so, yeah, that's basically a move that sort of goes with the chaos theming of, of uh, Zamorak. So whenever you're about to take huge amounts of damage, um, and you know you can take that damage unmitigated, then you can use this ability for six seconds, take all that damage, and then fire it in one blast um, back at your target. So, yeah, pretty cool ability. Um, can we set the adrenaline? We can. So we can use if it. you What's type that? in set var, What's SA underscore energy, set that to 1000. There we go. So now we can show you the animation for it. You can't because oh. you're not targeting the thing. <laughs> we need a target for this. Okay. NPC ad. Uh, yeah. let's, do, let's add a cow. Yeah, let's add a cow. Oh. <laughs> you're going to one hit the cow. I uh, know I am. Um, What's he called? Beefy. Now we'll add Beefy. <laughs> Where's he gone? Uh, okay. So uh, just while uh, we're adding Beefy, our NPC that we like to hit, here he is. So he can take a few hits. Uh, and we'll use Reprisal. 
Ooh. Ooh, a saucy new animation. So while this animation is going on, all the damage that you're taking is obviously stored, and then that blast you saw at the end fires it all back at the target. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the new ability. So that's for Zamorak, and then obviously we've got the three god weapons. So uh, you might have noticed in the background here, whilst we've been uh, talking about all the weapons and stuff, we've got, um, we've got the big tree, sort of crystal tree structure, which has erupted out of the central pool in God Wars Dungeon. And that's basically um, where you enter Telos' boss fight. So you can walk across this um, tree-like structure here. And we've got the new NPC, Soothsayer Sybil. So you'll be able to talk to her. And she's sort of a new character which we've come up with who, she's a Soothsayer obviously by her name. And she's sort of, she's really knowledgeable about anima. Um, and she knows about what sort of lies beneath um, once you get into the, into the dungeon. So we're going to have to open the, open the door. And then we'll show you guys what happens once you set foot inside. So you come down the sort of the tree structure, and this is when you get your first look at Telos. So I don't know if you want to say anything about him. Um, look at the skybox. Like uh, we're really we with NXT obviously in mind. We really used verticality. Verticality is that the word? Yeah. Yeah, verticality. So as you can see, many different levels, and that's all done using the skybox, which is pretty nice faking. Obviously, they're not actual levels, but as you go through. It drops down. It's premium. So if you click on the roots. Um, <laughs> yeah, so obviously we've got all the, the anima pool. We've, we've bigged this place up as basically like it's called the heart of Gilanor. This is where the lifeblood of the planet is stored. Um, and it's all, it's all going somewhere. We haven't quite explained that to you guys yet. But yeah, as you can see, there's this big pool of anima at the bottom. Anima's sort of being funneled in here. And then it's all going up somewhere, uh, which we will probably reveal sometime in the future. But for now, this is, uh, this is what we're showing you, Telos, and I don't want to go in too far. Uh, I guess we'll do Telly home, actually. Yeah, best be on that. Yeah. There we go. We're, we're not going to show you guys too much. I'm just going to show you the start of the fight where you actually like wake Telos up. So you jump down these routes, done, done. and you enter the first platform, and Shall voice him? he awakens. You have made a grave mistake. And that's Telos, oh, um, yeah. and that's the weapons. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited to get your hands on them and start fighting him. Um, obviously, we showed you that that's zero percent in rage first platform, but there's uh, there's four platforms to get through. So yeah, we're excited to see you guys get start getting up to the higher in rages and see all the mechanics that kick in. What are you laughing at? The chat. You? Oh, okay. I was <laughs> laughing at him. Uh, okay. Sway. <laughs> <laughs> the visual. That was my impression Mate, of that, Kyle. That, that was like. Yeah. At the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get my <the> XP. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, that's gift time. That's, 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 that's now that's gift from video, that's everything. That's oh. there. Um, and on Welcome that. to the front page of Reddit. <laughs>